Yeah. Yeah. I know. Hello? It's huge. You know, it's on the days where you're like, I'm really trying. That <laughs> it doesn't go quite right. <sighs> secret weapon. That's not a secret. These lashes just like change it all. Like I look back at pictures and I'm like, why is this picture so good? It's because I had these on. Anyway, we're vlogging. It's Sunday. I didn't start vlogging yesterday because my in-laws were here. They left this morning. We had a really fun day yesterday, hanging out and catching up and all of that. I feel like it's been a long time since I've vlogged. It hasn't really been that long, but it's felt like a long time just because so much has happened. We have a lot to catch up on, but right now, I'm definitely in a hurry. We are doing something today that I've wanted to do for so long, like years. I wanted to do this for two and a half years. We are going to do family photos. I've looked for photographers. I've tried to find time so many times and it just gets put on the back burner. We haven't had family photos with Lucy since she was like about three months, which it's been way too long, but life has been so crazy, you guys know. And really the only reason why I actually made it happen at that point is because her speech therapist at that time, amazing, amazing, amazing. Can't say enough good things about her. She was a photographer. And so I was like, mm, okay, you know us, you know Lucy, come over to the house on a weekend and we got it done. And that was really, really wonderful. And I'm glad we did that. But like, we've got a new baby coming. In case you missed the last video, big news, go back, watch that one. We have a new baby coming. And I'm like, I really wanna get family photos of us three. And I've also been on the quest to find a photographer that we can do like consistent family photos with and you know, baby photos, kid photos, all of that stuff. So I've got high hopes. We're going to see a photographer today that some friends use, like friends in the neighborhood. Their photos look great. Her photos online look good. Her name's Sarah Stanley, I'll link her down below. We're gonna go do photos at her studio today. It's gonna be kind of like a mini shoot, sort of. And really that's all we need. Like we just want a couple fun photos to like capture this moment in our lives, us three, and just something to hold on to and treasure forever. And obviously like I have a million photos of Lucy. There is no shortage of photos of Lucy, but I don't know. This is just a special moment. I'm excited to celebrate it. I'm gonna bring you along show some like behind the scenes. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but we're gonna have fun with it. We've got our dresses ready. I need to do like a little bit more steaming, but we are going to be matchy matchy today. Some people don't like the matchy matchy thing. I'm all for the matchy matchy thing. I mean, to a point, like you can't do it like forever. Like, but when kids are tiny, tiny, matchy matchy is all good. And I think, you know, Kids grow up and they look back at the pictures and are like, wasn't my mom so crazy? We were all like wearing the same tablecloth. I'm all for it, obviously. <laughs> These dresses are from Ivy City. They sent them to me. So I have followed them for so long, like since I think before Lucy was born. And I've like always wanted to order matching dresses from them, but then they reach out to me and I was like, oh my gosh, it's a sign. We need these dresses for the photos. And I am just like obsessed. They're like the same dress, but like little and big. I'm so excited. We're gonna wear all the same tablecloth. All right, I need to focus. Focus, focus, focus. Oh gosh. You know, the moment you're trying to do something real cute, it ain't going quite right. You have so much to do today and I have so much to talk to you about. I'm sure you can imagine. We've got a lot going on right now. These lashes are just so easy. Like anyone in the world with a spare single minute can toss these on and you can reuse them. It doesn't seem like you could reuse these, but you totally can if you're careful to not touch the sticky part, which is on the top of the lash. Nice. Can you tell that I got my hair done? I'm trying something new. I'm trying to be low maintenance. Can you tell? <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I think it's gonna be great. Okay. I think I did the best I can do. We gotta go. Thank you, boo. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you, boo. Who's a little bumblebee? He got me. <laughs> I'll go in and give her like a smoothie or a dozen. What do you think? Oh, sweet. Y'all look at each other. Oh, Lucy. Hi. Yes. Where is Lucy? One, two, three. 
Okay, I'm so excited to see these photos. I feel like it went so well. It was like bang, 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 done. It was really like the perfect length of time for a toddler. I feel like we got great photos. Grant's back. He just ran in to get Lucy's drugs and spinach. I am so happy we did that. Like with the never ending list of things that we need to do right now, we totally could have skipped that, but I'm so glad that we did it. And I can't wait to see the photos. Lucy did so good. She just like goes with the flow. She's just, just a magic baby. Get her clothes. Back home, obviously just fed Lucy. I'm about to change into some comfy clothes, but I wanted to show you the dress actually on like full length. I love these sleeves. I love the details. I love matching Lucy, obviously. Like we've got pockets. Lucy's dress also has pockets. I love it. I love the details. I love the blue. I just wanna dress like this all the time. Like so not practical for my life, but like, can I change my life <laughs> to fit this? Can I be this lady now? Anyway, gotta change. Okay, lunch of champions. Okay, Lucy snoozing. We just had lunch and we have so much to do. Like it's it's honestly a little overwhelming. We have so much to do, but I feel like I have like a second to sit down and chat with you guys and catch up because just because I, I feel like so much has happened and like obviously the biggest thing that has happened very recently between me and you guys is the last video. Finally getting to tell you guys that we're having a baby. Like y'all don't even know. I was so excited to finally tell you guys, but I was also nervous. And I think it's just cause it was like such big news. It's such a huge, amazing thing going on, but it was also like going on behind the scenes for so long. It just like felt like a huge moment to finally tell you guys and explain everything. And it's just, it's huge. And it's obviously like so close to my heart and it's my family, but once I put it up, I was just so happy and so grateful for you guys as always, because it's like nothing but support, so much kindness, so much love. And I just appreciate you guys so much being there for me. I don't know, I've said it a million times, but I will never stop saying it. Like, I feel like I won the lottery of like YouTube audiences. Like I just feel like the right people found me and like you guys take care of me. Like that sounds crazy, but it's true like you guys are just so supportive and gracious and kind so obviously that's like one of the biggest things that's happened in the last few weeks but we also went to the rodeo we talked about that in the last vlog we had so much fun i shared pictures on instagram we also had easter and we kind of did like an easter combination baby sprinkle and i was kind of like no we don't need to like do a whole big thing because you know we had a big baby shower for lucy and they just wanted to do a sprinkle and we had it on easter because like the whole family was going to be there already and it was just the family and it was so wonderful and so much fun we did an egg hunt and it was just awesome we also had some trips in the last couple of weeks the biggest one was to philadelphia to see lucy's doctors at chop she has a neurologist there and other doctors that have been following along with her since she was like three months old we've seen them a bunch of times over the years but it's been about a year since we saw them the last time and we really wanted to get a visit in check in talk about questions have you know the big appointment before the baby comes and we need to like hold off of travel obviously unless we need to during that trip we also saw a neuro ophthalmologist also at chop he was awesome lucy got a cvi diagnosis and just a very basic simplified explanation it's cortical visual impairment and it's visual impairment that's not in your eyes, the eyes can be functioning perfectly, but it's how the brain processes what the eyes are seeing. And the differences in processing can go a lot of different ways. Like I've been learning, I still have a lot to learn about CVI. We're getting into vision therapy. I feel like talking to therapists always gives you so much more information. Like I'm so grateful for therapists because obviously you learn from doctors, but you go to therapy and see therapists like all the time and they've seen so many people dealing with so many different things so vision therapy is going to be awesome for us and i mean nobody wants to add a new diagnosis to the list but this is just something that we learned a lot about 
uh, especially at the summit last year. And ever since then, we've been looking into it. I'm so grateful that we got to see a doctor that, that knows what's what up at CHOP and he got to look at her and just the thing that I don't want to happen is like five years down the line, we look back and we're like, we wish we would have known this sooner. If there's anything that we can look into and figure out how to support her more, I mean, especially vision. Vision affects everything, like every activity, every moment, every interaction. So if there are changes that we need to make or we need to add more support, like I want to know now. So we are learning and we are grateful to have that knowledge, you know? So that was our big spring break at CHOP. I mean, I joke about it, but I really am so grateful that we can make that happen for her. Okay, now before I get started on my crazy to-do list, we're making some moves today. But before I get started on that, I want to talk to you about today's vlog sponsor, BetterHelp. If you are running around like a chicken with your head cut off with like an endless to-do list, BetterHelp really could be the best therapy solution for you. If you've never heard of BetterHelp before, they're an online therapy platform that connects you with a licensed therapist that fits your needs. And really with BetterHelp, the beauty is in the accessibility. Like we're all doing so much and life is going so fast and we're all changing and growing and life is changing and like it's crazy and it's stressful and like you realize you need therapy but like where does it fit but better help meets you where you are it's all online it's all remote and you have the option of talking to a therapist by phone you can do video calls and you can also do messaging so it's really customizable and like what you need is the important thing. And the other thing that I feel like really sets BetterHelp apart is how easy it is to get connected to a therapist. The process is easy. It doesn't take a lot of time. And once you get started, if you feel like you're not clicking with your therapist, you can very easily switch to a different therapist. It's no extra cost or anything like that. So if you've been thinking about starting therapy, definitely consider BetterHelp. They can connect you with a therapist that supports your needs. Go to my link. It's in the description. It's betterhelp.com slash Leanne says betterhelp, H-E-L-P, and you can get 10% off your first month. Okay, let's get busy. Okay, please allow me to get distracted just one more time before I get busy. I just got these shoes in yesterday and I am in love. And they actually have so many different color combinations and I love them all. It was so hard to choose. These are so cute. I think I'm gonna wear them today. I feel like they're gonna be super comfy. Okay, so here's the first thing we're working on. This is the future baby's room. I know we've got a lot of work to do. You guys have been with me along the way, unknowingly, as I've been working on this room. This is the closet I've been clearing out. It was completely clear, and now it's completely full of baby stuff, but we have got a lot more work to do. Obviously, this room just kind of became a landing place. This is where I work out, so all my workout stuff is in here, and mainly the furniture that's in here is the furniture I had in my old office, which I don't have an office anymore. It was like in the background of my videos. I love the furniture in here. I found this on a vintage account in Dallas, and it's like, super 80s like off-white gold accents like i love this dresser so much it's a whole three-piece set it comes with this big mirror and then there's like a little side table nightstand thing over there this is baby stuff that's a baby swing that my sister gave me like a little hand me down from the twins this chair we're keeping but it can't be in here obviously all of this workout stuff like pretty much everything you see it's got to find a new home. Like we've got a lot to work on and to top it all off inside here, there's makeup. Like the makeup hoard is no more. I have like one drawer of makeup, but then there's just like a little bit more in here and it's time to say goodbye to probably 95% of it. I actually ended up getting a storage unit, which is like not my favorite plan, but it's what we're doing. And so this furniture and then the furniture in the next room, it's all going to the storage unit today. So we've got some work to do. Let me show you the other room. Here is the guest room. And this room is also changing. Right now, obviously, guest room, the furniture in here, this set with the bed, the dresser, and this side table over here. You probably remember from my old bedroom. This is the furniture from my parents' bedroom back in the 70s. Obviously don't wanna get rid of it. So 
most of the furniture in here is going to go into the storage unit because the future for this room is like workout stuff, office, everything room. And obviously we can't do anything with this room with this amount of furniture in here. It's kind of a small room and this is a really big furniture. So we're gonna take apart the bed and get all this stuff to the storage unit. Not sure yet. This this room looks like a pile of junk. We need to we need to get to work. The other big thing we're sending to storage unit is this coffee table. I love this coffee table. It does have some issues though. The top is not I don't know if you can hear that. It's not secured to the base, so it's not kid friendly, honestly, but I love it. It's just going to storage. Hopefully eventually we secure the base and we'll be able to bring it back. Okay, let's check on the guest room. Things have changed. Good work, all right. All right, Miss Lucy Bug is up. And we officially do not have a coffee table anymore. All the furniture that needed to go went. We had some guys help us load it up into a truck and take it to the storage unit. And now it's time to clean. And I feel like the ball is rolling and we can do things like paint, put furniture together. Now that there's room, I feel like we can do everything. It's gonna take time, but we can do everything. what do you think about? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm loving all this room and it just makes sense. It's more functional and that coffee table needed a little work. You know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, future nursery, still pretty hectic. But once I get all the gym stuff out, the TV, this black chair, I think this little table is actually gonna stay. And this is stuff that needs to be put together for the room. The wheels will for real be in motion. Okay, and this was the guest room. It feels so much bigger without all the furniture in here, obviously. And this is where we're gonna put the workout stuff and move stuff out of the nursery. Now I feel like we're making progress. All the workout stuff is gone and we're just about to move this TV. Okay, we just had dinner and we're headed home, but we're stopping at Lowe's really quick. We're gonna like run in, run out, and we're gonna look at paint. We're gonna look at colors, look at options, try to figure out what we're gonna do. I've got ideas, but nothing has been decided. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that all the walls need to be done. We did do the Sun and Lucy's first nursery, which I hated to leave. And we didn't have like the perfect spot to do it in her new room, but we're just gonna do like a solid color. And then I've got like stuff for the walls. I'll show you everything. All right, put in your votes. What color should the nursery be? All right, what are you considering? These are all white. Show them how you eat ice cream. It's cold. Okay, honey bear. Slam dunk. It's like midnight, it's 8.45. <laughs> I'm about to get ready for bed and go to bed. I got Lucy's bag packed. I got Lucy's outfit for the morning, my outfit for the morning, my workout outfit for the morning. <laughs> We've got early therapy appointments in the morning. I was thinking about cutting the vlog here. It feels wrong. 
I've done weekend vlogs for so long and just one day feels wrong. It feels <laughs> wrong. So I'm going to keep vlogging tomorrow. We just have therapy tomorrow and like, who knows what else? We got to get things done. Like the to-do list is looming. Obviously you don't have to have your baby's room done before they're born because the baby's going to be with us in our room for months and months. Um, but Obviously life is a lot easier if you get as much done beforehand. And I loved that whole process, like getting Lucy's nursery all ready and having like her bassinet in our room and having everything ready when we came home. Okay, I'm cutting it off. I could probably stand here and just ramble about whatever. I'm so tired. I'm gonna wash my face and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, good morning, y'all. It is Monday. We are just about to go into therapy. It's like eight o'clock on the dot. We're always scrambling on Monday morning, especially on our early therapy days. We're gonna do OT and PT, and we had kind of a wild ride getting here on the freeway like just a minute ago. A big work truck is in front of me and the tire like exploded. I don't know what happens, but it like totally peeled off and stuff was flying and something hit our car. And everything looks okay from in here. I need to look at the car, but like it was loud and it happened fast, but we're okay. There was nobody next to me. So I was able to just like move out of the way pretty quickly, but, but we made it. That's just part of the deal when you have to drive this far to get to therapy. So many times a week, you see some things, especially in Houston and the Houston area. Let's go. Yes, ma'am, you can choose the book. That's not a book, too. Oh, McDonald. Yeah, yeah, yo. We're filming all the films right now. One, two, three, go! Thank you for giving me your taxi. All the way home. Okay, wow, lots of fog. It's been raining on and off all morning and it's been kind of like spooky dark and I thought it was just the rain because I completely forgot. Today is the eclipse and the eclipse is like right now, <laughs> but all I can see are clouds. It's still like completely cloudy outside, but I feel like the light is coming back. I have lunch, Lucy's still sleeping. I made some coffee. I'm also procrastinating right now. I'm supposed to be editing and selecting photos that I took for this little project that I've been doing. It's not a little project, it's, it's big to me. I'm very excited about it and I will tell you about it very soon. I know this is so annoying when anybody online says this, like I can't tell you, but I'm excited, but like, that's really how I feel. <laughs> I'm so excited to show you because I've been working on it for so long. I feel like you guys are gonna like it. I'm gonna talk about it here on YouTube and Instagram pretty soon. So keep an eye out because I think you're gonna like it. I'm very excited about it. And I'm supposed to be working on some photos that I took, but I'm taking a moment to procrastinate and open some Amazon packages that came over the weekend and I just did not have time to open them. And I, I know one thing that's in here, but there's like two like kind of big boxes. Like we're gonna do it together, okay? We're waiting for our laundry to be done. Okay, a light bulb. This is a huge light bulb. This is for my palm tree lamp, 
which if we're talking about things that are not very like kid safe or toddler safe, that lamp is definitely going to have to go. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to like overhaul the entire house, but for now we're fine. And one of the bulbs on that lamp went out and they're like huge, super decorative bulbs. And so I looked on Amazon to see if I could find something similar because I think I got those from CB2 and I found one. Look at this. It is huge. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, I know what these are. These are two tank tops. The material feels so good. It's so soft and it feels like that like forever fabric that like can withstand an apocalypse. It's got a built-in bra that actually works. I have a black one that I ordered a while back. I've worn it a bunch of times. I really, really like it. So I decided to go ahead and get two more colors. So I got the light blue and then I also got kind of like a dusty purple. They have a bunch of colors. These are just amazing like everyday tops, totally outside of like working out or being outside or anything like that. Like these are just cute. Oh, by the way, I will link those down below because they are that good. I love those. I'm so excited to have more. Okay, so none of the stuff that's been in this box is what I knew was coming. Ah, look. <laughs> I did not see this for myself. I did not see myself as like a bow mom. I mean, it was bound to happen, but I went ahead and ordered a huge set of like every color of bows because right now all the bows that we have that are like this style have been given to us and we wear them like crazy and like her white bows have like makeup on them because I'm always carrying her and like her head's against me. And so we needed to freshen up our bow collection. We got a fresh white one and, and basically every color of the rainbow. Let's see what's in the big box. It's another box. It's another box. Okay, I did not know it was gonna be this big. Hello. So I actually don't know how to say the brand name, but from my research, it seems like this is one of the best baby food makers or puree makers. It steams and it also purees, like blends it up. Kind of like figuring some things out with Lucy's diet right now, making some changes. We'll see what happens, but I thought this would be helpful. We'll see. I've got to learn how to use it. It's bigger than I thought, but I'm excited about it. I need to take this in the kitchen. It's huge. One here, I love this top. It's so comfy. I got it from Amazon and apparently it's like a Skims dupe. I don't have the Skims shirt, so I can't really say if it's the same, but it is really comfy and it comes in a bunch of colors. It's kind of, it's kind of similar material to this, but it's like double layer. I don't know, it feels good. We're back. And we're gonna stop. King of the beach. Socks. It's all socks. It's just socks. My name is Lucy Girl. Lucy Girl. I know. Yeah. 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 I know. Yeah. Uh huh. Are you hungry? Are you? Tell me on your iPad. Mama. Hello. Mama. I'm right here. Mama. Ah. Whoa. You rang? Mama. I'm here. One, two, Okay, Grant's home, so I just got changed so we can go on a walk. We've been going on walks like almost every weekday lately and we're loving it. I put on that top that I just got from Amazon. It's so cute. And then this squirt, absolutely love. I will link this one down below. It's so comfortable. And then I've got my tried and true hokas on. I love this color. Let's go. Uh-oh, it's raining. <gasps> I see you, Becky. Oh no, it's raining. Uh 
All right, sadly, I think we're getting rained out. So we just had a shortened walk tonight. All right, dinner's ready. Lucy took a bath. We're doing good. How you doing, Buggy? y'all this is kind of nuts but we just got the photos back from the photographer like we just did this shoot yesterday morning and we already have the photos and they are so cute are you seeing this <laughs> i am in love i'm so happy she had a trip coming up so i know she was aiming to get them done pretty quickly and she said this was not her normal turnaround time but i am so grateful and she just made it so easy and so fun. And Lucy was just like happy the whole time. Look at this face. Oh my gosh. I had so much fun matching with Lucy. Oh, I'm so glad we made the time. And I'm so glad we met this photographer. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, they are so cute. Okay, I'm not going to make you look at all of them. But I'm in love, obviously. Oh! Last. Okay, it's 9.30, we were watching The Crown, and like, if there's one show that will put you to bed, it's The Crown. I know everyone loves that show, and we're so late watching it. You know what? Side note, I am loving this color combination. You can't even see. I feel like, I kind of feel like I'm wearing a tutu, but I'm loving the blue and the green. Okay, I'm not gonna get distracted and ramble on. I appreciate you guys being here and watching the vlog. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, like the video, it helps the channel, all of that. Look out for the next one, it's gonna be a big one, honestly. <laughs> At the moment, I can't tell you, I'm not exactly sure what it's gonna be, but either way, it's gonna be a big one. We're doing big things, we've got a big week ahead and then like several more big weeks after that. There's a lot to do. I'm excited. I'm so, 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 so excited. I can't think about it anything else. I'm so excited. Thanks. I love you. Bye.